There are thousands of people who have been displaced as a result of the war in Georgia. Tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands, if you believe reports. I want you to know to whom to blame of, 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 in this conflict. Uh, that's uh, Mr. Saakashvili who started this war, and Mr. Saakashvili who is aggressor, and who, who, who in two days, uh, my, my people, Ossetian people, were killed and were under bombed, and 2,000 people were killed in I, one day. I, I, and I, that's what I am against. I just a few hours ago, he had a specific message for the American people. Wake up. Wake up. This is what is happening now. It's not about Georgia. It's about the basic values the West has. The basic values the U.S. has always, always preached us. Were there bombs falling all the while? Um, I didn't see any, uh, but before I say anything else, I just want to say that I was running from Georgian troops bombing our city, not Russian troops. I want to say thank you to the Russian troops that were helping us out. <laughs> dropping bombs and moving tanks into Georgian territory. I was running from Georgian troops bombing our city. I was running from Georgian troops bombing our city. But with Russian tanks and troops continuing to pour into South Ossetia. I want to say thank you to the Russian troops that were helping us out. Войны на мирно спящий город Схинвали обрушились снаряды тяжелой артиллерии и реактивных систем залпового огня. We have many developments to share with you this uh, hour, including word the city of Gori ha is apparently falling under Russian control. Russia has also seized a military base in western Georgia. All of this opening up new fronts in the fighting that began when Russia moved in tanks. Today, when we arrived and news came that Gori was being shelled, I saw my footage. I said, that's not Gori, that's Simbali. Having crawled through the length and the breadth of Tsin Valley, I don't need much to tell from which point this or that footage was recorded. I can swear in front of any tribunal. I can point at this location on the map of the town because I and the cameraman of the Rossiya channel videotaped that. It is 50 meters away from the entrance to the territory of the peacekeepers. Those guys who every move is regulated by the UN were all killed. The Georgians shot up their entire battalion. When we were leaving, there were 20 or 25 boys there, each with seven cartridges left in their magazines. 
In four hours we got a message that there were no cartridges anymore. Nobody lets journalists work. The moment we go on air, reporters of Channel 1, Channel 2 or NTV, artillery starts shelling our site. We're lucky there were no cowards around and nobody's tears hindered our work. I would borrow a camera from my colleagues and we would share the footage afterwards. That's how we worked. We worked in crews of two or three. They would get you out in case you're wounded. Yes, I was scared, but it's our job. The military's job is to defend their land and our work is to produce news. The actions of the Georgian leadership in South Ossetia are a crime, and for most, they're a crime against its own people, because a deadly blow has been delivered to the territorial integrity of Georgia, and that means a massive damage to its national identity. It's hard to imagine how, after all that happened, and after all that's still happening, they'll be able to convince South Ossetia to belong to Georgia. То, что сделал Михаил Саакашвили, практически не поддается логике. Накануне вечером он заявил буквально следующее.